This week on Tales from a Passport, Mathis and Ty Schreiber join Susan and I on a dive in the U.S. Virgin Islands as we spend time exploring both the ledges and the stragglers. Also, Susan talks about adventure schooling as we hike the old Annaberg Plantation. As COVID restrictions have started to lift in the U.S. Virgin Islands and travel has opened up, so has the island's tourist industry. Today, we're excited about diving the ledges off a of Little St. James and the stragglers off a of Great St. James. This will be our first scuba dive since the world had closed down due to the coronavirus. By now, we've adjusted to this new life with new rules and restrictions. However, there was a time where there was so much to be uncertain about. Borders were closing down daily at a very short notice, and the uncertainty of what life would look like on a boat during this time, it just wasn't clear. When we finally made the decision to remain in U.S. waters in the U.S. Virgin Islands, we could only hope that our gut decisions were good ones. As the events of COVID continued to unfold, we would soon realize that where we were was, in our opinion, the best place in the world to be during this time. While the rest of the world was implementing lockdowns and curfews, the U.S. Virgin Islands kept their borders open and became a refuge for boaters. Just like the rest of the world, we were required to wear masks, keep a safe social distance from others, and refrain from making non-essential trips to stores for supplies and provisions. The difference was the attitude of the people. There was never a time where we were not able to find items such as meat or toilet paper. Although restaurants were closed, we could order takeout and when available, use outdoor seating to help bring some normalcy to this unfamiliar time. The biggest freedom we had that had been taken away from surrounding countries was the ability to move. We were still able to sail around the island and enjoy the natural beauty that it had to offer. Our family has fallen in love with these islands and the people that live here. We will be forever grateful to the U.S. Virgin Islands for being our safe haven. So, from the Pruitts to the people of the U.S. Virgin Islands, thank you for everything you've done for us during our time with you. We look forward to sharing our stories of your hospitalities to others. You always hold a special place in our hearts and our memories, and you will forever have our gratitude and appreciation. You might wonder, what does boat schooling look like? Sure, we have books, and classes are on our computers. We do book reports, take tests, a lot of the same things my kids did back home in normal school. But one of the benefits of boat schooling is that every day is a field trip. You can make everyday experiences into a learning experience. Like on this day, when we turned a hike into a history lesson, a math assignment, a literature reading, and even a cooking class. And everyone had fun doing it, including myself. I don't think they even realized how much they were learning. Hands-on learning is often the best way to never forget. On this day, we learned about the Annaberg Plantation it was a leading producer of sugar, molasses, and rum back in the 1800s. And from the views at the top, we looked out upon the Sir Francis Drake Channel, which began a discussion of Sir Francis Drake himself and the impact his life had on the area. And as we looked out to the right, we saw Norman Island, supposedly the island where the book Treasure Island took place. So guess who had to read the book? and give an oral book report. My kids. A volunteer guide, Miss Louise, taught us how the plantation workers would make fresh bread. 
and we even got to sample some. All you have to do is look around and there are learning opportunities everywhere. Mm -hmm.